In the grim darkness of the far future, the Caraxes Sector stands on the brink of annihilation as Chaos Warbands descend upon the Imperial battle fleet Caraxes. High Admiral Thaddeus Vale, a paragon of strategic brilliance, must lead his fleet through the Void's treacherous expanse, countering the cunning maneuvers of a relentless enemy. As the forces of Admiral Luigia Marcellus and Admiral Darius Kale form a formidable defense and prepare a decisive strike, the fate of the sector hinges on their ability to adapt and overcome. Amidst the tension of the strategium and the ferocity of space battles, Vale's resolve and leadership will be tested to their limits. Battlefleet Caraxis, Wrath of the Imperium, is a gripping tale of strategy, sacrifice, and unyielding determination in the face of chaos. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy. A uh, quick fact about me, I guess, is a fact. I work from 8 to 5, and then I have school from 7 to 10 every single day, and then I have class on Saturday from 8 to 3. So I don't have a lot of time to actually... And then I have to hang out with friends, and then I gotta pay attention to my girlfriend 24-7, so I don't have a lot of time to do this. That's why it's been really delayed. I'm trying to pick up the pace. I love doing this. I want to keep doing it. Um, but it will possibly take... There might be longer intervals just because of my work schedule and, and life and stuff. But that's all I wanted to say. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I did a little bit different animation kind of style. It's not just static images and stuff. I kind of like moved uh, some stuff around and etc. I hope you guys enjoy. This is Chaos Rising, the Caraxis Offensive. Part one of, I think it's, I think I have four parts planned out, but we'll see. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Enjoy. Okay, goodbye. The cogitator's voice hummed softly, its mechanical timbre filling the chamber with an eerie resonance. The sector admiral, draped in the ceremonial garb of his station, stood motionless, his gaze fixed on the hololithic display that projected a ghostly blue image of the Caraxes sector. High Admiral Thaddeus Vale initiated the mobilization of Battlefleet Caraxes upon receiving preliminary reports of Chaos Fleet movements near the Outer Rim. The cogitator intoned, its voice devoid of emotion. The urgency of his command was palpable, driven by the need to confront an emerging threat with unprecedented swiftness. The Sector Admiral nodded, absorbing the Cogitator's recount of the past events. His eyes glinted with a mixture of anticipation and dread as he prepared to delve deeper into the unfolding narrative. In his command throne, aboard the battleship Invincible Wrath, High Admiral Vale surveyed the tactical displays each screen flickering with streams of data and imagery from various subsectors. His voice, a deep baritone laden with authority, resonated through the Vox network, reaching every corner of the fleet. All ships, this is High Admiral Vale. We face a dire threat from the void. Mobilize with all haste. Our enemy is relentless, but we shall meet them with unwavering resolve. For the Emperor, from the shipyards of Helios Prime to the orbital docks of Spheris Magna, the call to arms echoed. Mighty battleships, cruisers, and frigates began their methodical exodus from their berths, engines blazing as they converged towards the designated rendezvous points. The vastness of space was soon filled with the majestic forms of Imperial Navy vessels, each a testament to the Imperium's indomitable will. Within the bridge of the Invincible Wrath, High Admiral Vale conferred with his closest lieutenants. Admiral Lucia Marcellus, her presence commanding and resolute, reviewed the fleet's disposition with a keen eye for detail. Task Force Aquila is ready to engage on your command, High Admiral, she affirmed, her voice unwavering. 
And Task Force Tempestus stands prepared as well, added Admiral Darius Kale, his posture reflecting the confidence of a seasoned warrior. Our forces are primed for the fight ahead. High Admiral Vale nodded, a steely determination evident in his gaze. Excellent. We must act swiftly and decisively. Every moment we delay, the enemy strengthens their position. Ensure our reconnaissance squadrons are deployed at once. I want eyes on the Chaos Fleet's movements. High Admiral Vale stood in the Strategium, a grand chamber dominated by a massive hololithic display of the sector. His fingers traced the projected star map, plotting the course of the fleet with meticulous precision. We must outmaneuver them. He mused aloud, his thoughts shared only with the silence of the chamber. Their motives are unclear, but their presence here is no mere coincidence. We shall uncover their intent and crush it with the Emperor's fury. As the ships of Battlefleet Caraxes continued to converge, the void around them seemed to hum with the promise of conflict. Each vessel, from the smallest escort frigate to the largest battleship, represented a piece of the Imperium's vast military might, ready to be wielded against the encroaching darkness. In the distance, the faint glow of warp signatures marked the arrival of additional reinforcements. The fleet was becoming an awe-inspiring testament to the power and resilience of the Imperial Navy. High Admiral Vale's commands had set a monumental force into motion, one that would soon clash with the malevolent forces of chaos in a battle for the fate of the Sector. The cogitator's voice faded, leaving the Sector Admiral in contemplative silence. The weight of history pressed upon him as he prepared to continue the review, knowing that the decisions made in those crucial moments by High Admiral Vale would echo through the ages, shaping the destiny of the Imperium itself. The cogitator's voice resumed its low, rhythmic hum pulling the Sector Admiral back into the unfolding narrative of the Void Battle. Following the assembly of Battlefleet Caraxes, the Cogitator continued, High Admiral Vale prioritized the deployment of reconnaissance squadrons to ascertain the Chaos Fleet's position and strength. The decision, calculated and immediate, underscored the gravity of the threat looming in the void. The Sector Admiral's fingers drummed lightly against the console as he listened, each word from the cogitator painting a vivid picture of the events that had transpired. Aboard the Invincible Wrath, High Admiral Thaddeus Vale stood before a hololithic map, his eyes tracing the shifting positions of enemy contacts. His command was swift and precise. Deploy the escort squadrons immediately. We need detailed reconnaissance reports before we commit to a full engagement. Send out the Thunderbolts and Furies. I want eyes on every sector of the enemy's formation. Within minutes, the hangar bays of the fleet's capital ships came to life. Engines roared to life as sleek Thunderbolt and Fury strike craft adorned with the sigils of the Imperial Navy, launched into the void. Leading the first wave was Lieutenant Commander Yarek Voss, a seasoned pilot known for his unerring precision and tactical acumen. All squadrons, maintain formation and proceed to designated coordinates. Voss's voice crackled over the Vox. Stay sharp, we don't know what we're up against yet. The strike craft soared through the darkness, their formations tight, and disciplined. The Thunderbolts, designed for speed and maneuverability, flanked the Furies, which carried advanced sensor arrays for deep space reconnaissance. As they approached the suspected positions of the Chaos Fleet, the tension was palpable. Picking up faint energy signatures, reported Lieutenant Dax Wren, the sensor operator aboard Voss's wingman Fury. It's them, all right. They're spread out, but there's a pattern. They're not just waiting, they're setting a trap. Voss's brow furrowed beneath his flight helmet, 
Relay the data back to the Invincible Wrath. We need High Admiral Vale to see this. As the data streamed back to the fleet, High Admiral Vale and his command staff poured over the new intelligence. Admiral Marcellus and Admiral Kale joined him in the Strategium, their faces grim as they reviewed the reconnaissance feeds. Looks like they're positioning for a pincer movement, Marcellus observed, her sharp features illuminated by the glow of the hololithic display. They want to encircle us. But why such an elaborate setup? Kale mused aloud, his voice edged with suspicion. It's almost as if they're toying with us. Vale nodded, his expression thoughtful. There's more to this than meets the eye. They're drawing us in, but to what end? We need to be ready for anything. Inform the fleet to prepare for evasive maneuvers and potential ambushes. Back in the void, the escort squadrons continued their perilous mission, weaving through asteroid fields and debris-laden sectors to gather as much intel as possible. Every encounter with the enemy was brief but intense, a deadly dance in the silent expanse of space. Voss, we've got company! Ren's voice cut through the static as enemy blips appeared on their sensors. Chaos fighters, bearing the twisted insignias of their dark allegiance, screamed towards the Imperial squadrons. Engage at will, Voss commanded, his voice resolute. Protect the intel at all costs. The void erupted into a ballet of destruction as the thunderbolts and furies engaged the chaos fighters. Las bolts and auto cannon fire lit up the darkness, each pilot fighting with the fury of the Emperor's wrath. Despite being outnumbered, the Imperial pilot's skill and determination held the line, ensuring that crucial data made its way back to the fleet. On the bridge of the Invincible Wrath, High Admiral Vale watched the live feeds, his face a mask of grim determination. They're testing our resolve, but they'll find us unyielding. Continue to gather intel and prepare the fleet for our next move. We will meet this threat head on. The cogitator's voice paused, its recounting complete. The Sector Admiral leaned back, contemplating the strategic acumen and bravery displayed in those critical reconnaissance missions. Each piece of data gathered, each sacrifice made, was a step towards unraveling the true intent behind the Chaos Fleet's presence. The battle ahead would be fierce, but the courage and vigilance of the Imperial Navy would stand as a bulwark against the encroaching darkness. The cogitator's hum lowered as it transitioned to a new segment of the narrative. The Sector Admiral adjusted his stance, sensing the shift in focus. The briefing was crucial, a moment where plans crystallized into action. Following the reconnaissance missions, High Admiral Vale convened a command briefing. The cogitator began. Admirals Marcellus and Kale gathered with their rear admirals and vice admirals, the atmosphere thick with tension and anticipation. The chamber aboard the Invincible Wrath was vast, dominated by a central hololithic table projecting a detailed map of the sector. High Admiral Thaddeus Vale stood at its head, his piercing blue eyes scanning the faces of his senior officers, Admiral Lucia Marcellus and Admiral Darius Kale flanked him, their expressions a blend of resolve and urgency. Admirals, Rear Admirals, Vice Admirals. Vale began, his voice steady but forceful. Our reconnaissance missions have revealed critical details about the enemy's disposition. The Chaos Fleet is vast, and their positioning suggests a deliberate strategy to entrap and decimate our forces. Admiral Marcellus, her posture rigid and eyes sharp, spoke first. Task Force Aquila stands ready, High Admiral. We've identified key vulnerabilities in the enemy's formation. If we strike swiftly, we can disrupt their plans before they fully materialize. 
Admiral Kale nodded, his muscular frame exuding confidence. Task Force Tempestus is prepared for aggressive engagement. We've pinpointed potential choke points where we can concentrate our firepower. Their warp magics give them an edge, but with coordinated strikes, we can nullify their advantage. High Admiral Vale gestured to the hololithic display. Our primary objective is to divide and conquer. We must isolate their command ships and prevent them from rallying their forces. Rear Admiral Tyrus, what is the status of Battle Group Aegis? Rear Admiral Helena Tyrus, tall and imposing with her auburn hair, stepped forward. Battle Group Aegis is positioned defensively, High Admiral. We'll provide a shield for Task Force Aquila, ensuring their flanks are secure while they execute the offensive maneuvers. Vale's gaze shifted to Rear Admiral Marcus Leoric. And Battle Group Shield? Leric, his grizzled beard and scarred visage, speaking of countless battles, responded with a gruff but confident tone. We're ready to hold the line, sir. Our ground assault capabilities will be on standby, should we need to board enemy vessels or defend our own. Rear Admiral Alyssa Calum, slim and agile, spoke next. Battle Group Sword will spearhead the initial offensive. Our coordination will be key in breaking through their lines and creating openings for deeper strikes. Vale nodded approvingly before turning to Vice Admiral Joran Valen. Task Force Tempestus will rely on your ferocity, Valen. Battle Group Thunder must strike hard and fast. Valen's broad shoulders squared as he replied. We'll hit them with everything we've got, High Admiral. No mercy. Vice Admiral Celeste Adrastia elegant and enigmatic, added. Battle Group Storm will focus on disrupting their communications and sorcery. We must sow chaos within their ranks and turn their own tactics against them. Finally, Vale's eyes settled on Vice Admiral Roderick Harkon. And Battle Group Vortex, Harkon? Harkon, always analytical, leaned forward, his eyes gleaming with tactical insight. We'll exploit any weaknesses created by the initial strikes. Our aim is to ensure no retreat, no regrouping. Complete and utter annihilation. High Admiral Vale surveyed his commanders, feeling a surge of pride and determination. Remember, our goal is not just victory, but to understand their true purpose. Every maneuver, every strike, must serve that greater aim. We are the shield and the sword of the Emperor. We will not falter. The briefing concluded with the officers departing to relay orders to their respective commands. The tension in the air was palpable, a prelude to the storm that was about to break. The cogitator's voice receded, and the sector admiral stood in contemplative silence once more. The strategies laid out in that room, the resolve of each officer, all painted a picture of the monumental task ahead. The battle was not just a clash of fleets, but a dance of minds, each move a step towards uncovering the dark tapestry woven by the Chaos Warband. The cogitator's voice resumed its steady narration, the Sector Admiral's gaze fixed on the glowing display of the past engagement. As Battlefleet Caraxes moved into position, the first clash occurred between the Imperial Reconnaissance Units and Chaos Patrols, providing a harrowing glimpse of the enemy's capabilities. In the vast expanse of the Void, the sleek forms of Thunderbolt and Fury strike craft slice through the darkness, their engines humming with barely contained power. Lieutenant Commander Yarek Voss led the vanguard, his eyes scanning the flickering readouts inside his cockpit. Every muscle in his body was tense, poised for the encounter that he knew was imminent. All units maintain formation. Voss's voice crackled over the Vox. We're deep in the lion's den now, stay sharp. The strike craft moved in perfect unison, 
a testament to the rigorous training and discipline of the Imperial Navy pilots. Suddenly, the silence of the void was shattered by the shrill alarm of proximity sensors. Red icons flared on Voss's display, signaling the approach of enemy fighters. Contacts! Chaos patrols inbound! reported Lieutenant Dax Wren. Multiple bogeys vectoring in fast. Voss's jaw tightened. Engage at will. Let's show these heretics the Emperor's wrath. The void erupted into chaos as the Imperial strike craft met the enemy head on. The twisted forms of chaos fighters, adorned with blasphemous sigils and trailing sickly green contrails, screamed towards them. Lust bolts and auto cannon fire streaked through the darkness, illuminating the battlefield in brief, violent flashes. Voss maneuvered his thunderbolt with precision, evading incoming fire while lining up a shot on an enemy fighter. His targeting reticule locked onto the Chaos craft, and he squeezed the trigger, sending a stream of bright red lust bolts into its fuselage. The enemy fighter exploded in a brilliant burst of fire and debris. That's one down. Voss muttered, scanning for his next target. Keep it tight, everyone. Don't let them break our formation. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Wren's voice was calm but urgent as he relayed critical information. We've got more incoming, Voss. They're trying to flank us. Voss nodded, his mind racing. Adjust formation. Cut them off before they can encircle us. The Imperial pilots responded with flawless coordination, shifting their positions to counter the enemy's maneuver. Despite the overwhelming odds, their discipline and skill kept them in the fight. The Chaos fighters were relentless, but each time they attempted to gain the upper hand, they were met with fierce resistance. Aboard the Invincible Wrath, High Admiral Thaddeus Vale watched the live feed with a steely gaze. The stratagem was filled with the hum of machinery and the murmur of voices as his officers monitored the battle. Admiral Lucia Marcellus stood beside him, her eyes narrowing as she observed the tactical display. Voss and his squadron are holding their own, Marcellus remarked. But the enemy is pressing hard. They're testing our resolve. Vale's expression was grim. They're more than testing us, Lucia. They're probing our defenses, looking for weaknesses. We need to be ready for anything. As the battle raged on, the true nature of the Chaos Fleet began to reveal itself. Their tactics were cunning, their maneuvers and unpredictable. It was clear that they were not merely a disorganized rabble, but a force driven by dark intelligence. Voss, we've got readings on their lead ship. Ren's voice came through the Vox, tinged with urgency. It's heavily armed, moving to intercept. Voss's heart pounded in his chest. All units focus fire on the lead ship. We take it out, we buy ourselves some breathing room. The Imperial strike craft converged on the target, unleashing a torrent of firepower. The enemy ship shuddered under the assault, its shields flickering and failing. But just as victory seemed within reach, a pulse of sickly green energy emanated from the Chaos Vessel, disrupting the Imperial formation and sending several craft spiraling out of control. Hold the line, Voss shouted, struggling to regain control of his Thunderbolt. Don't let them break us. The battle hung in the balance, each side vying for dominance in the cold, unforgiving void. On the bridge of the Invincible Wrath, Vale's eyes narrowed as he watched the chaos unfold. Prepare for evasive maneuvers, he ordered. We can't afford to be caught off guard. But then, disaster struck. From the void, a fleet of chaos frigates and cruisers emerged, their dark forms slicing through the blackness like harbingers of doom. 
they opened fire with a ferocity that caught the Imperial reconnaissance units off guard. Voss! They're overwhelming us! Ren's voice was frantic, desperation creeping in. We need to fall back! Voss's heart sank as he witnessed his comrades being torn apart by the onslaught. Voss, we must withdraw! Ren's voice was cut off abruptly as his fury was engulfed in a ball of fire, leaving Voss momentarily stunned. Ren, no! The Chaos Fleet pressed their advantage, their firepower decimating the remaining Imperial strike craft. Voss knew they couldn't hold out much longer. All units retreat, he commanded. Fall back to the main fleet. The surviving strike craft turned and fled, racing back towards the safety of the battle fleet. But just as the Chaos Fleet prepared to pursue, a new force entered the fray. Battle Group Aegis, move forward to engage the enemy. Rear Admiral Helena Tiris's voice echoed through the fleet's comms. We will not let them break our lines. The void was filled with the imposing forms of Imperial capital ships as Battle Group Aegis surged forward. Lance batteries and macro cannons opened up, unleashing a devastating barrage on the Chaos vessels. Rear Admiral Tiris, tall and imposing, stood on the bridge of her flagship, the Resolute. Her eyes were fixed on the tactical display as she coordinated the attack. Focus fire on their lead ships. Break their formation. The battle that ensued was a spectacular display of naval warfare. Imperial cruisers and frigates exchanged broadsides with their Chaos counterparts. The void lit up with explosions and streaks of energy weapons. Incoming torpedoes, brace for impact! A voice called out on the Resolute's bridge. Tiris held firm. Her voice steady. Maintain formation. Return fire. The Chaos Fleet, though powerful, found themselves outmatched by the disciplined and coordinated assault of Battle Group Aegis. Rear Admiral Tiris's tactical acumen and the bravery of her crew began to turn the tide. Voss, this is Tyrus. Your orders are to withdraw and regroup with the main fleet. We'll cover your retreat. Voss, his heart heavy with the loss of his friend, responded with a nod. Understood, Rear Admiral. Pulling back now. As the reconnaissance units fell back, Battle Group Aegis continued to press the attack. The Chaos Fleet, their initial advantage slipping away, fought with a desperate ferocity. Admiral Marcellus. Tiris called over the fleet comms. We've engaged the enemy and are holding them at bay. Your orders? Marcellus's voice came through, calm and resolute. Excellent work, Tiris. Maintain pressure. We'll be there to support you shortly. On the bridge of the Invincible Wrath, High Admiral Vale watched the unfolding battle with a mixture of pride and determination. Prepare for the main engagement, he ordered. Today, we show these heretics the true might of the Imperial Navy. The cogitator's voice paused, the recounting of the initial skirmish complete. The Sector Admiral's mind raced with the implications of what he had witnessed. The Chaos Fleet's capabilities were formidable, their strategies insidious. The battle ahead would be fierce, and the stakes higher than ever. The cogitator's hum resumed, signaling the transition to the next phase of the engagement. The Sector Admiral took a deep breath, steeling himself for the challenges that lay ahead. The true battle was only just beginning. The cogitator's voice hummed softly as it resumed its recount of the past engagement. The Sector Admiral stood still, the flickering glow of the hololithic display casting sharp shadows across his face. Based on the initial skirmish, 
High Admiral Vale made crucial adjustments to the fleet's formation and strategy, preparing for the main engagement. Aboard the Invincible Wrath, High Admiral Thaddeus Vale paced the bridge, his mind racing with the new data streaming in from the reconnaissance units. The remnants of Voss's squadron limped back to the fleet, their battered forms a stark testament to the ferocity of the Chaos patrols. Admiral Marcellus, Admiral Kale to the Strategium. Vale's voice echoed through the ship's corridors, carrying a weight of urgency that brooked no delay. His senior officers, Admiral Lucia Marcellus and Admiral Darius Kale, quickly joined him, their expressions mirroring the gravity of the situation. Report. Vale commanded, his piercing blue eyes locking onto Marcellus. Admiral Marcellus, her demeanor composed and authoritative, stepped forward. Hi, Admiral. The Chaos Fleet's tactics are more sophisticated than anticipated. Their use of warp magics and ambush strategies indicates a high level of coordination and intent. We must adapt swiftly if we are to counter their maneuvers. Admiral Kale, his muscular frame tense with anticipation, added, Their initial skirmish was a diversion. They're probing our defenses, trying to draw us into a trap. We need to rethink our approach if we're to avoid their encirclement. Vale nodded, his mind already working through the possible adjustments. Agreed. We'll alter our formation to counter their tactics. Marcellus, Task Force Aquila will extend its perimeter, deploying battlegroup Aegis to shield our flanks. Tyrus has proven her mettle in the initial clash. She will hold the line. Marcellus's sharp features softened slightly with approval. Understood, High Admiral. I will relay the orders to Rear Admiral Terris immediately. Battlegroup Aegis will ensure our flanks remain secure. Vale then turned to Kale. Darius. Task Force Tempestus will concentrate our offensive capabilities. Vice Admirals Valen and Harkon will lead battlegroups Thunder and Vortex in a pincer movement. We must strike their command ships decisively and disrupt their chain of command. Kale's perpetual look of determination grew fiercer. Consider it done, High Admiral. Valen and Harkon are already preparing their forces for the assault. We'll hit them hard and fast showing no mercy. The hololithic display flickered as the new formation took shape, the glowing icons representing the Imperial fleet shifting into a more aggressive posture. Vale's eyes traced the revised battle plan, ensuring every detail was accounted for. Admiral Marcellus? Vale continued. You will coordinate with Rear Admirals Leoric and Calum. Battlegroup's shield and sword will support the main thrust, providing covering fire and intercepting any counterattacks. We must maintain our momentum and keep the enemy off balance. Marcellus nodded, her dark hair tied back in a tight bun. Yes, High Admiral. Leoric and Calum are already on standby, awaiting further instructions. We will keep the pressure on the Chaos Fleet. Vale's voice grew quieter, more contemplative. Their motives remain unclear, but their presence here is no mere coincidence. They're drawing us into a larger scheme, one we must uncover before it's too late. Every maneuver, every strike, must serve that greater purpose. The strategium fell silent as Vale's words hung in the air, the gravity of their mission pressing down on every officer present. The cogitator's voice provided a brief respite summarizing the tactical adjustments and their implications. The revised formation allowed the Imperial fleet to counter the Chaos fleet's initial strategies, positioning them for a more decisive engagement. High Admiral Vale's strategic acumen ensured that each task force operated in concert, maximizing their offensive and defensive capabilities. The Sector Admiral's gaze remained fixed on the display, absorbing every detail. The past battle unfolded with renewed clarity, each adjustment and maneuver a testament to Vale's leadership 
and the resilience of the Imperial Navy. Back aboard the Invincible Wrath, High Admiral Vale stood tall, his resolve unshaken. Prepare the fleet for engagement. We move to strike at the heart of the enemy's formation. For the Emperor, we will prevail. The bridge buzzed with activity as orders were relayed and final preparations made. The void outside seemed to hum with anticipation, the calm before the storm. All ships, this is High Admiral Vale. His voice resonated through the Vox network, reaching every corner of the fleet. We face a cunning and relentless foe, but we are the shield and the sword of the Emperor. We will not falter. Prepare for battle. The cogitator's voice paused, marking the end of the tactical adjustments. The sector admiral stood in silent contemplation, the weight of history pressing upon him. The coming engagement would be decisive, a true test of the Imperial Navy's might and determination. As the cogitator's hum resumed, the sector admiral took a deep breath, preparing himself for the next phase of the battle. The true confrontation with the Chaos Warband was imminent, and the fate of the Sector hung in the balance. The Cogitator's voice, precise and methodical, filled the chamber once more. Following the tactical adjustments made by High Admiral Vale, the fleet's positioning and strategy were realigned to counter the Chaos Warband's maneuvers. Each task force was assigned critical roles, their cooperation vital to the success of the impending engagement. The Sector Admiral's eyes remained fixed on the hololithic display as the cogitator continued, each word painting a vivid picture of the past events. The Imperial Battle Fleet, now fully assembled, presented a formidable force in the void. Task Force Aquila, under Admiral Lucia Marcellus, extended its perimeter to shield the fleet's flanks. Battle Group Aegis, commanded by Rear Admiral Helena Tyrus, took point in this defensive posture, their vessels forming a protective barrier. On the display, the icons representing Task Force Aquila shifted into a defensive arc. The graceful lines of cruisers and frigates moved with practiced precision, their formation designed to absorb and deflect the brunt of the enemy's initial assault. Tyrus. Marcellus's voice resonated through the Vox network. Maintain your formation and be ready to repel any flanking maneuvers. We cannot afford any breaches in our lines. Understood, Admiral. Tyrus replied, her voice steady and composed. Aegis stands ready. We will hold the line. The cogitator's narration continued, the mechanical voice tinged with the echoes of past commands. Meanwhile, Task Force Tempestus, led by Admiral Darius Kale, concentrated its offensive capabilities for a decisive strike. Vice Admiral Joran Valen's Battle Group Thunder and Vice Admiral Roderick Harkon's Battle Group Vortex were positioned for a pincer movement. Their objective, to target and disrupt the enemy's command ships. On the display, the icons representing Task Force Tempestus formed a spearhead, poised to strike at the heart of the Chaos Fleet. The larger vessels, bristling with weaponry, advanced with deliberate menace. Valen. Kale's voice crackled through the comms. Prepare your group for an aggressive assault. Harkon, coordinate with Valen and ensure no enemy ship escapes our wrath. Valen's response was swift and fierce. Thunder is ready, Admiral. We'll hit them hard and fast. Harkon's voice, calm and analytical, followed. Vortex is in position. We'll exploit any weaknesses created by the initial strike. The cogitator paused, its hum filling the brief silence before resuming. High Admiral Vale's command ship, the Invincible Wrath, 
served as the strategic center, coordinating the efforts of both task forces. Vale's presence was a constant reminder of the Imperium's resolve and determination. On the bridge of the Invincible Wrath, High Admiral Thaddeus Vale stood before the hololithic table, his eyes scanning the shifting formations. His voice, calm yet commanding, filled the strategium. Markellis Kale, maintain communication and ensure your forces are ready for rapid response. We must adapt to any changes in the enemy's tactics. Marcellus, her features sharp and resolute, replied. Task Force Aquila is prepared, High Admiral. We will secure our flanks and support the main assault as needed. Kale's voice, tinged with the promise of aggression, followed. Task Force Tempestus is ready to strike. We'll cut through their lines and sow chaos within their ranks. The cogitator's voice took on a contemplative tone, as if reflecting on the gravity of the situation. The coordination between Task Forces Aquila and Tempestus was crucial. Each Task Force's role was meticulously planned, their actions designed to complement and reinforce one another. The fate of the battle depended on their ability to execute these strategies flawlessly. The Sector Admiral's gaze remained fixed on the display, the weight of history pressing upon him. He could almost hear the echo of Vale's commands, feel the tension that had gripped the fleet as they prepared for the main engagement. With their new formation and strategy in place, the Imperial fleet moved into position. The cogitator concluded. The void around them seemed to hum with anticipation, the calm before the storm. The stage was set for a confrontation that would determine the fate of the Caraxi Sector. The Sector Admiral stood in silent contemplation, the past unfolding before him with stark clarity. The strategic overview provided by the Cogitator emphasized the importance of each task force's role and the intricate dance of coordination and strategy that had defined the battle. As the Cogitator's hum faded, the Sector Admiral took a deep breath, preparing himself for the next phase of the recount. The true confrontation with the Chaos Warband was imminent, and the fate of the Sector hung in the balance. The weight of command, the burden of history, and the resolve to prevail against the darkness filled the chamber, echoing through the ages. All right, and that was Chaos Rising, the Caraxis Offensive. That was part one of, I don't know, maybe four, maybe less. Maybe that was a one-off. We'll see how people like it. Narration will be after this. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, uh, for listening. Uh, I appreciate feedback and support. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much. Bye. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to know how people, what people thought of the, the little strategic overview animation kind of thing with the you know the non-static images where they had little blips kind of moving and stuff i really want to know what people thought of that because if they like it the, the people that don't just listen to the audiobook or you know just listen to it um if they like that because i feel like it's a little bit more interactive and stuff it doesn't really take that much more work um so it's fine on my end so if people like it i'll do you know, if, if the story fits for it, this story, I specifically made the story so that it, so that it fit with, so that it fit with, um, that, that style and stuff, um, so that I could do that and test it out and see if people liked it. Um, I'm going to keep this short. The l little criticism I have on this is that there is a little point 
at least if you're watching it. I think it's fine if you're listening to it, but if you're watching it, there is a little point before the end in the strategic view with the little blips and stuff where um, it looks, it basically it ends with the ships in this formation and then the next time you see the strategic view, it ends with the blips um, in a different formation. And the only reasoning I have for that is that Wow, or the only reason I could think of it, because I can't remember why I did that, um, was because there was a time period that happened in between that, right? So it's kind of like you're looking at the strategic view from from this point in time, and then you're looking at the strate strategic view from the next point in time. So things have kind of changed, right? Um, you could also just look at it as an oversight, and there was too much work for me to... Uh, go about and change that and fix all that and then change every single one after that and stuff um, Which I didn't want to do so that's also part of it. I won't lie <laughs> Whatever. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, More stories coming few written few in production Meaning that like I'm editing them and one is almost edited completely So I'll be releasing that next after this one uh, again, with the work schedule and the life schedule and everything, it'll there'll be more intervals and stuff. But hey, we're getting there. Also, woohoo! We're super close to 600, which I am super stoked about. That's super cool. I uh, I always sound I always have this one tone of voice, so I always sound like this or like really sarcastic or something. But no, I'm I'm actually pretty stoked about that. That's pretty cool. Started off at zero, right? Oh, I started off at one because I subscribed to myself. <laughs> okay. So I started up at one, and now I got almost close to 599 people, and that's pretty cool. And it seems like there's like a good 200, 250 that uh, seem to watch video the videos regularly. So to those people, I just want to say very like like thank you very much. Um, that's super cool. I've I've read comments of people. I have to stop talking. It's gonna make the video look really long. I've, I've seen comments of people uh, saying like, hey, they listen to this on like their off time and stuff or while they're doing something or painting or something. And that is so fucking cool. I, I can't tell you how fucking cool that is. All right. I don't want to make this any longer than it already is. I'm just rambling. All right. Here we go. So thank you very much. I hope you liked it. This was Chaos Rising, the Caraxis Offensive, part one of maybe four. We'll see if people like it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you... If you liked it, <laughs> that's about it. All right. Thank you so much. I really hope you did like it. Talk to you soon.